Welcome back to Seat Story Cup. Uh, I'm Artosis, and I am joined now by a local streamer, JJ. How yeah. are you doing? I'm doing fine, man. I just came to visit after like getting invited by some players. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty nice. It's pretty sick, right? Have you ever been to Take's house before? Oh no, but uh, it was really chilled. I just uh, walked from the streets, like, oh, you can just go in and chill with the people. It's yeah. so amazing, yeah. like. That doesn't mean that you should come down here and just try to walk in. Wait until someone invites you. And, of course, we have Faramir here as well, teammate to Powder, who did just lose that last match. How are you doing, man? I'm doing well. Uh, huh? Kind of sad that Powder lost, but like, I think he's still going to He can still come back. Sabit yeah. said he actually thinks he'll be coming out of here. So. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, before we get into this next match, which will be Vortex against Raynad, uh, I'm going to show you some stuff on this site from one of the sponsors. So let's go ahead and jump over to my screen real quick. And this is where you should be watching. You actually shouldn't be at twitch.tv forward slash take underscore HS. You should be here. Take TV. Yeah. Take TV underscore HS. Whatever it is, you shouldn't be there. You should actually be on this page because Take went through with his uh, team and made this beautiful page that shows off all their sponsors and stuff like that. So this is where you want to be. Uh, you go down here, and what I'm going to show you, this is a really fun and cool thing. Click on this Kingwin thing right there. See that? Click it. And somewhere on the Kingwin page is an Amaz head. And it has a sombrero on. Amaz W. So you need, to, you need to find that, okay? This is actually very important. It could be on any page. Maybe it's right here. Let's see. What happens if you find it? Then I'm going to go win the prize. <laughs> That's not too bad. Okay, so it's not on this page. You can skip this one. But find it somewhere on here. And then if you do find it, you need to tell us. So you need to go to Take TV on Facebook. And see that link right there? You just click right there. And you submit it right down here where it's loading. Okay. And so, yeah, that's, that is the, the little thing that you can do uh, to win some something from Kingwin. And, of course, uh, go to Kingwin, and if you buy anything, type in TAKE in all caps, and you get 3% off. So there you have it. That's one of the big sponsors in the scene right now, so definitely go and support. Good deal. Yeah. Uh, you can get games for cheaper. It's always good. That's what you want to do, man. You're taking a discount. Remember it like that. All right. So we have this match starting out. It's all right to laugh. I'm sometimes yeah. funny. Oh, there we yeah. go, man. Sometimes funny. Let's see, man. Yeah, it, it's going to be Reyna going up against Vortex. What do you guys think about the match? Did you get to watch their previous matches? Uh, I did. Um, I think Vortex played the pretty standard decks. He played like Mech Mage. Um, he played Face Hunter. Mm -hmm. And I remember the third deck right now. Um, I think, uh, I think it's a solid lineup. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's like not not much, not really like creative, but yeah, it gets the job done, I guess. Um, like the basic solid decks where you can sneak in wins, like face hunter. If you're oh yeah, hey, a lot of people say that's a good way to play. Uh, God, I keep forgetting the name of the fort conquest. Oh, that's a good. Some people say it's yeah, a good way to play conquest. They all can take wins, right? Yeah, you yeah, only need to get one win with a deck, and yeah. that's that's locked. So, yeah, I think I, I, I'm not remembering really what kind of decks Raynet has. He has. Um, he I actually Mage just got the list. Oh, oh that's nice. So man. here we go. It's actually Raynad has brought Priest, Mage, Hunter, Rogue, and Vortex has brought Hunter, Mage, Druid, Paladin. I, I like this. Like, yeah. What these guys are doing, just having two really solid decks, mm -hmm. and then you're bringing like, aggressive decks to sneak in the last wing. Yeah. This is really nice in Conquest. This mm -hmm. is how it works. Um, like if, if you have this yeah. basic... Uh, it's so often that you just win two games, and when you have like one last deck, which you want to really get it with a win, and yeah, yeah. just don't get it. But with a fast deck like this, it's likely. Yeah. Uh, right away, we see like a really interesting ban here from Vortex. We got like a priest yeah. ban. Yeah. Oh. Well, I mean, I guess he's he's playing Mech Mage, right? And we didn't actually get to see his pally, but I guess maybe it's like Savit's pally. Yeah, it might be an. He's probably pally. he must just be afraid of just like a, a very anti minion type priest, right? Yeah, right I'm actually be. not sure if Vortex plays the Paladin. Well, I mean, it, would you ban Priest if this was like a more controlling pally or a mid-range uh, pally? Like, Priest is pretty good against Paladin in general, so... Um, if Priest stalls nice until late game and has the cards, the combo cards, it's just so dangerous. Yeah. Especially, yeah. I'm so afraid of this light bomb Priest. It can just steal your stuff, like getting so good. Uh, oh, so much yeah, value. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so it, I, like, yeah. Raynard is playing uh, a mid-range hunter and a tempo mage, so yeah. it's a little bit different variations from what, um, what Vortex is playing. Like, yeah, Renard banned the face hunter because he knows all of his decks suck against it. <laughs> other than the face. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, straight up. Um, 
Yeah, so he wants to take that free well, win away. This, yeah, this is actually he he was talking to us over on the couch here about like kind of his overall strategy with this, and I actually I think that this matchup goes to Reynad to be honest because all of his decks are going to do well against Druid, and he's already yeah. banned that 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 face hunter. So I mean that's the real weakness of his decks here. I I like it. I think that Reynad's going to take this one. This is a good. Um, he had a really good lineup. Like yeah. the rogue is basically farming this decks. Yeah, <laughs> it, it depends. Mage is strong in general, but. Um, it looks good, and yeah, yeah, both players bringing mage. Nothing special. Mage yeah. is so good at the moment. It's like certainly, it seems like that might be one of the big decks of this tournament so far. Yeah, like yeah it might be. Did everyone bring mage? I didn't. I didn't bring a mage. Oh, you didn't bring a mage? Oh, you fool! I'm You're gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> lose the grips. But <laughs> all right, okay, there we go. Looks oh. like we're just about ready to jump into this game. Um, let's see here. We gotta make sure we're spectating the right people. All right, I gotta. Well, we'll be spectating them in just a moment, and we'll get that started, guys. But uh, it is ah, Reynad against Vortex. Got to spectate oh, Vortex. There we go. Got right, it. There you go. All right. Mm -hmm. Rogue versus Mage. Rogue versus Mage first. All right, sick. That's interesting, man. Oh, the Bile Teacher is there. It's pretty standard oil rogue, I would say. Oil versus Mag Mage. It's it's so nice. It can be like mm. basic cards. Blight Flurry clears. But I think I think that's a really good hand by the Mage here. You got. I would I would just keep that hand to be honest. It's a pretty good hand. You have you two into thing. two into three into four. Yeah. But he wants a little bit more of a aggressive hand. He gets oh, punished here. Like yeah, he gets a crap hand. He throws away <laughs> his good curve. Wow, that sucks, gets, man. I wouldn't have done it as yeah. a freeze mage, uh, as a mech mage, but yeah. this rogue hand is now really good good because it's not like that aggressive hand. That it, was that not pretty greedy to mulligan that thing I, like that. I, I don't know what he was looking for to be honest. Um, he had he had a really good curve. That's generally what he won against Rogue. Yeah. He won a good curve, and then he wanted to like draw into your fireballs, frostballs to clear their minions. Yeah. Like teacher's not going to come out before turn four because he doesn't have coins. So um, fireball is always going to trade well with mm. that. So I don't yeah. know about the Rogue Mulligan. It's like you can keep the teacher if you have to coin. Yeah. Since you can get it out, but I would rather search for a prep. It's most of the times like a prep. Uh, the tempo coin. play. Uh, I like the I like keeping the teacher backstab poison. It's a really good. Uh, it's good against Mech Warper, it's uh, good in general against the two fours. I would have liked to, uh, yeah, maybe he could have played the poison here. Uh. But, no, nah, I guess he has a Nori chance. he has to poke it anyway first, so poison's a little bit of a waste. Let's see. The, the, well, there's the, the preparation, <laughs> man, that's a huge card here. You might just prep sprint to play around the, the entity here. You're losing all the tempo, man. If you're prep sprinting, you're searching for a flurry clear. But, yeah, but if you play the... The teacher, he, you're losing tempo as well. Because what if he has a fireball? He just gets a teacher and a one one, and then you have like nothing. It's like I like. You could also like equip just the tinkers here, just preparing the mm. big flurry. Pay attention, mm. class. But then you can't like pluck the shield of the annoyed chance. It's, so. it's not good. This teacher, I don't like. That yeah, much. like I actually like. I have to agree with the whoever said prep sprint here, because I'm yeah. like, is he ever going to be able to play that now? Especially now that he's given a big mirror entity. It's like. Ugh. Yeah, here we go with the blast mage. Like you're like, giving him damage here. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> that's not the best thing to do, man. Smart trade here by Vortex if he attacks that first, because yeah, yeah. then yeah. The, the blast mage has like a seventy or like sixty-six percent chance to kill it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, it doesn't get it, but he still has a noise chance. So like four to phase will have been pretty bad for him here. Not not terrible, but. Not this definitely not good. <laughs> this is not the rogue situation. He missed the prep sprinter now, where yeah. he could get his blade flurry, which you need against the mech mage. And now you're just sitting on your clunky cards. Oh, it's like, man. Oh, man, where's my teacher? <laughs> uh, yeah. I would have liked him to hold back the teacher there. Just force <laughs> the mech mage to play his own minions first before you give him his minions. Like, yeah. There's no reason for him. Like, there's no pressure there with like, just a one two there, right? No, seriously. So. That, that, what a great turn that is to actually play something else. Like, something so slow. Because from here on out, we're going to see big minions popping out. Look at this hand on the mech mage. Like, it yeah. started out poor, oh, but man. giving second him this 3 5 was like this crazy. Second sprint, man. That sucks. Oh, God. You used to prep sprint on turn four. There's no discussion about it. Or yeah. you equip the tinkers to set up for a flurry, but not giving the minion. He's gonna prep poison just to kill off the teacher. Mm. That's so painful. I guess double sprint. He's never, he's never gonna play a sprint this game. Oh, that's low feb in the major's hand. Not before like turn twelve. That's a really good draw. It fills out his curve perfectly. Although, <laughs> although he has to keep up, like, it's kind of uncomfortable because he either has to trade the five four into the Drake or he has to. Go face, hope he doesn't this have spell good. power. I, I like this low fat play. You're pushing for damage. Um, and yeah. You don't leave the Drake on the board. This is how you lose. 
No, you should. Uh, I, I would not well, I mean, play Lothab here. If you play here. the Lothab, you probably don't need. You can leave the Drake okay, then. Just go fix. Oh yeah, yeah. then you can yeah. do it. Yeah, it's so nice. Otherwise, you do have to trade in because that's like how you lose to oil. You're like, oh, I'm killing this oil rogue, and then they, you left one minion, and all of your hard work damage. is gone. Spell damage, exactly. man. This yeah. is all about rogue. is all about spell damage. Yeah. And they get that oil plus three. It's just like, oh wow, he's at really twenty damage. Well, oh let's sick. Have, let's have some fun with this mage. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> thank you, man. Double fan backstab for like oh, whoa, whoa. eight damage. Huh. Let's see. Yeah. But so he's so he's going the YOLO way here. He's he's not respecting the AOE, and there there's the first one. Yeah. This yeah. Is, if he draws the second one. That's just I would just go for Bay back into the game. Seriously, that would be insane if he goes if he goes fan into fan. He has no other play here. That's the only play he has. Yeah. He might he might uh, think about poking the annoyed on first to kill it, so he can. Um, for sure, clear one of the other ones. That we get an SI? But that's not nearly as good as top decking a fan with your fan. Oh, right? <laughs> I think I would have gone here really just fan first. Maybe you get yeah. the SI seven. I think I think he's so far behind. He needs to do that kind of place. But he's drawing really poorly here. It is mm. so interesting. Like you can kind of argue here, man. He was so unlucky drawing both prints, but he also missed the opportunity to cycle to the cheaper card. So yeah. It's not yeah. about that. He's got, like, this game is over. He's going to low tap spare part here, and then he's just push for four. Next turn he has nine damage, and then he, and he has the last mage as well to follow up. So this, this game is pretty over. He can't play anything of his hand here other than the poison. Didn't like the rogue play there. It's like, oh, we can play Black Knight. <laughs> oh, thank God for that. That's going to help him. All right. Well, uh, that first game going to go ahead to Vortex. That Black Knight, though. Yeah. I don't, I don't <laughs> like that. Yeah. That. yeah, it's a really teched out deck, actually, that Raynad's using there. It, don't you before you include like like include uh, Mr. Emperor Tarzan? I don't uh, like you, you might have both. Yeah, yeah, Tarzan could still be in there. And like yeah. I'm interested in what he cut. He had double poison, uh, double oil, so he probably cut the the boom. Okay. Now it's cut, he cut. Double sprint is interesting. I, mm. I, I I would be interested in seeing the list, but yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it seems it seems like uh maybe slightly less comboy in some ways because it's uh, yeah, got still like has a, double oil, so he might not have the pirate. He might not have the pirate. It's really um, it's really greedy for, with more six drops, including man. If if oil you want to get like tempo turns and go bam bam face mm. and um, just yeah burst them pretty low, clear the board. But if you're including like black knight and stuff, it's like it doesn't work. It doesn't well, interact. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I think it has to do with the fact that he wanted to come in and really kill off druid decks. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like, he tacked against Druid, yeah. right? Yeah, so that's he, what he was he, mentioning. He's not really upset like, about this loss, really. He, he knows everything of his decks can beat the Druid. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, he might not be like, of course, you want to win that because it's kind of a good matchup, yeah. but he's still, uh, like, he's still not concerned because he still has the Druid. Yeah, that's the cool it. thing about Conquest. I, I like this type of strategy where Raynad came in and said, oh, I think everyone's going to play Druid, so why don't I just yeah. make sure I can kill that? Yeah, that's good. yeah if you go with this into I have yeah. this. Yeah. One deck you're gonna beat oh. with fair all your decks. Huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if you just three us Druid? Right. I mean, you have there, to say there, like, we can see it here. How we Druid, Druid can always win a game, so we're into the next game. It's here. an interesting mulligan now yeah. for the Rogue. What do you keep? I just think I think you mulligan everything, but the, with the keep, SI. Mm -hmm. You keep the SI. Yeah. Sometimes I'm that greedy that keep the prep because if you get a teacher, then it's just going to be insane. Mm. I don't think you like the only good teacher you can get against Druid though is like a prep eviscerate or a prep, prep sub. I, you mulligan the SI though. No, no. Uh, no, it's actually. Oh. Um, hold on one second, guys. It's just bug. Yeah, yeah, there's just a little bug. Hold he does. On one second. <laughs> I didn't think he. It just was a bit messed around. Are you sure? I All think right. it doesn't. Yeah, I'm not sure what's up with that. But, anyways, um, it, it, actually, what you saw there, he didn't mulligan the SI. It's, he did. No, 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 it looked like it did. What yeah, this is doing in observer mode is it oh, shuffles the, the other card side? behind. Oh, that's like next it's level. It's really weird, like the way it does it, but oh, that's... Right. It's because I got caught off guard with that earlier today, too. I'm like, he did not just yeah. mulligan yeah, these two cards. Like, you, you don't mulligan it. Yeah. No, it's... Trust me, it, it's a weird animation. It looks exactly like they did. He Vortex did, is a pretty bad Druid player. Wide growth there. It was a misplay. Pretty bad Druid player. Yuri well, Sherman, right? Help me out here. <laughs> well, well, what's going on? I need to end this task. Oh, you want to task? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No. He's gonna All right, there, there we go, go man. Thank you. <laughs> thank Look you, at uh, Lothar screen. Uh, Lothar, Reynard screen, I'm oh, sorry. Okay, what do we do here? Just, like, you could, you have two options. You can uh, attack, we dagger. Ah, uh, no. Um, uh, wait for next turn uh, poison SI just combo, just or you just drop the SI just like that. That's fine, too. I like it. It's like... 
I think that if you wait to drop the SI, you are being way too greedy. It doesn't even you're make sense. You're, you're falling behind. Yeah. yeah it's like for two damage? Not, no. You're not really falling behind. Like, uh, turn four to play normally is the Shredder. So if you can poison, kill the Shredder, and then you can kill whatever comes out. It's gonna, not going to reveal the shade with three attacks. You so. uh, you, but you this can't, you you make can't with that kill a, a, a Millhouse Mana Storm, and that's what we're seeing today out of Shredders, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this is one of those. Yeah, okay. This is a Millhouse day, guys. All right. I hope you all have Shredders in your decks. If, if, <laughs> I, if I am the person who pops the Shredder when I play in SI, and when this sneaky little gnome comes out, <laughs> smiling to my face, and says like, <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Seriously. He's a... Uh, at least like, you have a good Sep target, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's, he's <laughs> kind of sad. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, you Sep the Millhouse? That's like... <laughs> that's, that's a fantastic oh, I was a little bit slow on that one. That's Will you give me free sprint? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Will you do that? Sprint, sprint, yeah, oil, yeah. oil, oh, sup. <laughs> Let's have some fun. It was that. Oh, man, this curve is sick. It's like he didn't have the wild growth, but he had it. This is so... Shade, interesting. Mm. That's a card that is like on and off in row, because... It's it synergizes with the oil really well. Cause always you have always the minion on the board when you need one. Um, but yeah, this turn is not really good for Rena here. No, no. I mean, it's it's either this shade and re dagger, yeah. or it's a prep into nothing. Would yeah. you consider it like <laughs> maybe just attacking with the shade when you play low fep just for the aggression play? No, maybe. Oh, As face, face. You mean instead of trading? Face. You mean? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, well, yeah, when you play Lothab, you definitely can because they're probably going to have to trade into it anyways. Yeah, you might be right. Yeah, Gives them an easy trade this, uh, this with the Drake, I... though. Yeah. This way he has to poke it with a, with his face, so he takes five anyway. Hmm. And he keeps the shade. This is going to be a 5-5 five, five next turn, so it's out, out of range of every AoE. Oh, yeah. this, this rogue tournament, maybe turn... Ah, man. He might go face here and just re-dagger. Yeah, yeah. Better gamble out that he has no swipe. This hurts, but this low for this pressuring. He's, he's, he's gonna take five damage that way or the other. Ouch. It sucks. I hate Lothab. You hate Lothab? I, I'm I playing way too, too much rogue to like him. It's like yeah, I'm playing way too much freeze mage to like him. Yeah, man. So we, we could have, see we a have big tempo coming. swing here. <laughs> it's like this card, man. If he taunts it up, we're gonna get, see a big tempo swing. Mm. And he doesn't. So well, I think he was paying yeah. attention earlier because Reynad did draw that against oh. the beats. Yeah, if you paid attention. So, that's, that's in fact, good. he played it against him, if I recall correctly. So either you unstuff the shade now or you wait till the combo. Yeah. He has one part. It, it, with five, it's kind of nice out of oil flurry range and could just mm. make it big. Like, this is scary. The shade is... Yeah, the thing is he can he can get him into combo range here with uh, just attacking, so... yeah. Like, he needs a heal and to clear the board before turn 9 and get board control back, so... And look at this Black Knight, man. It's a tough man. task. And, like, let, let's not forget, <laughs> Reynad's strategy is laid out on the Druid. If the Druid sneaks a win here, yeah. his other two decks going to have a hard time against Paladin. Seriously. That is oh, actually oh, oh, what, what a very what point. Other, he needs to win this. What are his other two decks again? Um, uh, he's Temple playing Mage a, a mid-range Hunter. And, yeah, Temple Mage. Temple Mage. Like, I think Temple Mage is fine against Paladin. But I think the the hunter could struggle uh, more against the um, yeah, especially yeah. like he's playing a little bit slower hunter. No, his hunter I think will really really die to Pally because yeah. I mean as yeah. soon as you Aldor, uh, uh, Savannah High main the game yeah. is yours. Slower like face hunters can struggle. Yeah, can yeah struggle. especially because um, I'm pretty sure that um, Vortex playing a Kazan in his Paladin. So oh okay. If you get in the get the Kazan on the freezing trap, that's really really big tempo swing. So. Indeed. Okay. He kept the shade revealed, so that probably means he wants to Aye. wants it for trading oh. or he wants it for combo. And there, there, there it is. Druid has some esports in the hand, man. Oh, double combo. So I'm pretty sure he's just gonna hit a face here. If the rogue doesn't get a heal bot soon, and the big flurry out, he needs a heal next turn. Yeah, Not he does. This turn quite. Well, I would, I would, I, mean, I would attack here with the shade definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this turn is like a big flurry turn. Yeah. So. 100%. Then, but then again, if you don't have a 6 damage flurry and the 6, six uh, mana dagger you only get with the poison this poison oil flurry and he doesn't have that right now. Ouch. What you do here is prep sprint and sap the shade and hope you draw some heal. Prep sprint, that's 4, that's 6. So you need to trade in the shredder. So you can clear the board. Yeah. Um, I we'll probably do that. That's probably the best play. Yes. Like especially with the combo coming up mm. one turn from here. I mean, the druid 
Wait, he always has the combo. Like, let's be honest. Yeah, the, the, the <laughs> druids always have the combo. It's just like a warrior always has fiery war axe. Yeah. There's just like certain things that are true in Hearthstone. Yeah. And well, you gotta, as soon as you make peace with that, you're gonna be a much better player. That's that's my opinion. And that's why I'm so bad much because less, I'm so angry. About oh, you're much every less time. salty then. Like you're just like, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> it's expected. Turn nine. Yeah. I'm like, no, I know you. It's well, I know you have in your It's hand. my own fault for not. Yeah. yeah. It's staying above 14 all uh, game. This combo is fine, man. So always assume they have the second fireball. Just always assume it. <laughs> Sorry. Or, wait, top deck at least. Steam Weedle. <laughs> wait, you, wait. Oh. It's gonna, it's gonna go for Teacher, Sap, Poison. Uh, just, you get, uh, I like this play because he's gonna keep the board control a little bit. Mm -hmm. like, it's more board control. And you can still prep sprint next turn for Far Series, so. I hope he runs Far Series and not whole heal bots. Uh, I'm pretty sure he runs Far Series. I don't, uh, I don't see a lot of rogues who run heal bot right now. Yeah. Well, yeah. I do. Uh, I don't like heal bot. It's too slow. It's five mana. <laughs> there's, it depends there's how, swipe. how how you would work. So if he if he wants to give it away, he can swipe the face here. Mm -hmm. um, swipe the face. Make sure that he doesn't like he still has lethal with combo. Yeah. Uh, with combo even with earth ring, but the shade also makes sure. Mm. Oh. Yeah, these clunky hands. They actually man. need to see if he Ooh. has like. How much damage does he have here? He doesn't have a flurry. He, he has, has to prep sprint. That's it. Yeah. He knows it, it too. It doesn't matter. He has to flurry and he has to heal. <laughs> and he can't do that. He needs second prep. Second prep, flurry, and the heal. And that's not it. There's the second prep, but it doesn't matter. And there's the fury. Oh. And now the rogue is like, oh man, maybe okay. he doesn't have to combo. <laughs> Didn't play an ancient yeah. of lore. No, you see see the mana? How it says one of eight right and now? Next turn it's going to say nine of nine, which means that they have the combo. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. And that's so Raynaud's strategy way, going down the drain. That is, actually, I think, I think. And, like, that's the last match for him. Like, if if he loses this match against Vortex, he's out. Yeah, he'll be one of the first players out of the tournament, Gotta be a cheap first player. I think the other group actually already did their... Oh, they're, are they already finished? Like, it's already... Because I know... Like, Six of ours, Alish, or, like, Alish versus Forsen was, oh, yeah. was going on. It was already going on before the start, so I it might be, like, the second player. Maybe. Uh -huh. But you don't want to be, generally. No, you certainly don't. <laughs> yeah. The play here as the rogue is uh, you, you just assume he doesn't have combo and just play around like do it off the card charge and um, and savage war. That's what you do. I um, hate this situation. It's like so you attack flurry. Like you almost know he has the combo since he didn't play this card sort of. His yeah. Life. Yeah. I'm ready. To Yay. Let's, let's get he also, three. Yeah, he also swiped the steam wheel. So he could play the shade. So it's like kind of telegraphing it. Hey, yeah. He even has two combos. That is a really good druid play. <laughs> <laughs> it's like double without, without wild shove, like he bounced back from his bad play on. Yeah, yeah. With the double mm -hmm. raw combo, it's like he's on the top again. Yeah, you can see Reynad pretty unhappy yeah. with that loss right there. Like, oh baby, I think it was uh, ah. Like I felt coming into this series, he was in a pretty good spot with these three yeah, decks, but it sucks. Man. Yeah, to lose with the druid right there. Still, a uh, paladin can always do just like a good knife juggler on leash combo if they don't have enough tempo. Mm -hmm. That's really a tempo matchup with the hunter. Like that's what we're talking about here, right? We're gonna assume that the rogue wins against the paladin. So he has to play, yeah. yeah. Oh. But like tempo mage and hunter both play secrets, and like with a kazan and paladin, the paladin. Like I'm pretty sure he plays kazan. He said something about that earlier. So hey, but in conquest, it can. How often does it happen? This last deck. Who just yeah. doesn't get this win? It doesn't yeah. do anything and, all day. You're losing the first one, saying like, okay. You're losing the second one, it's like, oh, uh, ah. it's close now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like two, two now. Could yeah. be. Could hey be. man, conquest. Everything is possible. Yeah, like, everything. You think yeah. Reynad just stays with the rogue here? He might. It's the, probably the best match of all. If you want to stay in there, you should play the rogue, man. But then yeah. again, it doesn't matter. Agreed. really. Like it's if you want to go through out three zero or well, I think three two, it doesn't really matter. That that's true, but like he wants to see, I think, as many cards in the pally deck as he can. Oh, yeah, he so might you be right. Then. Probably want to use a good deck first against it to yeah. make sure that you're you know gaining information for your lesser good matchups. Yeah. Uh, it's also you have to say like it's all about the, the mindset if you like yeah. you want to yeah. win the one game now and then you can maybe get this streak. Yeah. Yeah. If you're behind it. Not you sure need that. Yeah. <laughs> you need this confidence. Mm. Not sure if Ren is one of those tilting players but like he, he might like I would say yeah he's yeah. on the tilty side for sure. I don't probably. see the chat now but probably sure there's salt shakers oh, just plastered everywhere. all over it. <laughs> everywhere. But no yeah. doubt. Uh, let's be honest, who tilts in Hearthstone? It's just a game. Like, yeah. No, it's just a game. It doesn't ever hurt anyone's feelings. Yeah. Yeah. No no reason to add anybody in. Just 
Uh, you know, speaking of things. which, I do want to yeah. just take a moment to say I, I feel like there should be an option yeah. where your hero, when you give up, doesn't say well played. I, I, sometimes I'm like so angry after loss, and I, I just I like especially like the quit out and it's like root yourself, like well played yourself. friend or something. I'm like, oh god. Oh, that's a really strong guy here. <laughs> Oh like, yeah, I would I would have liked uh, seeing him attack last turn because he's probably gonna poison this I'll turn. I'll just say this insane. Or just uh, SI, and then he's gonna re like re dagger poison anyway at some point. So he kind of missed one damage there with the, with the shade draw. This is way better. There, mm -hmm. there is one way you lose against the paladin as a rogue. You have like this hand and drawing no cycle cards. Oh, and yeah. Then you are like, mm. it's hard though. Like it's kind of hard. You yeah. play double sprint now. You play uh, double Drake. So it's it's hard to not draw any of the cycle cards. This is still a decent Paladin curve, it's fine. Double SI is also really good. You play... You just play Poison here. Yeah. 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 Oh, he's gonna Poison SI? Yeah. I don't like that. I think you should re-dagger. You have to Townless next turn to combo <coughs> with the SS7 agent. Yeah, just kill the zombie Chow. Maybe you can go with a Zap SI turn next turn. That's like something I saw Lerena do a lot. He's not valuing his um, his uh, Deadly Poison charge a lot. The Rubo Rep Lord, no, not Belaus, the best. But it has 4 health. Yeah. This guy's Wait yeah. a second. It's better than a knife trailer here. Like she survives. Minions with battle cry cost two more. Yep. Yeah. So no drakes. Uh, like no lucky that. that's combo, not battle cry, guys. No Oops. boom. <laughs> boom costs nine. We have to say like this paladin has an excellent hand against rogue. You have double mm. peacekeeper, which is key to stop the aggression, and the double true silver is like. Mm. True silver is really good. It is so good. Next, uh, this is the kind of rogue can it's getting, like I said. <laughs> <laughs> this is happening. Yeah. <laughs> it's still fine here. You got the Thanos SI. Yeah, you just need to... Yeah, as I said, you just need to draw into your Emperor or just just pressure cards or the, the card draw. One of the two. Time like, to top deck an old for the Paladin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, just to deny the Thanos. That would be kind of sad. They, no way, there's no way you attack here, so... Let's raise the salt. Oh, oh wow. Maybe he won't. Uh, yeah. Let's I, I don't know what he is afraid of. He can't equality consecrate yet. Almost no paladin is playing pyro. Yeah, he just really wants that thing. Yeah, like attacking for four, he would just give the shade away to the true silver, which I don't like at all. Like he's uh. still gonna trade the SI now. And also like something to be aware of, like it's maybe a Belcher coming out next turn and then like, you sit there with an SI and the Thanos and it's like mm. you just have that thing and I have no cards in hand. Was, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, man. Just b both players' hands are. I just would mm. say the the rogue hand is now getting beloved, uh, uh, average. Yeah. Uh, 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 well, I mean, there's only two cards in it, so it can't be that good, right? If you only have two cards in hand, one of them is a kill command. You know, it's it's pretty sad. All right, he's going for the all over here. I, f I feel for the rogue, man. This sucks. Like, if you're losing against the pattern, he still has around two or three, three draws before it gets. There we critical. go. That's, that's, that's a really good draw, the teacher. <laughs> But how do you use it? You need to play a teacher and clear board, so you're not getting vulnerable to the I don't like cruiser. trading in the, the Thanos here. I think you just teacher. Teacher kill the 1-1 one, one and kill the uh, um, Aldor with the 5-5. Five, five. This is what I like here. You might go face with the Aldor. I like going face more. With Shade? Yeah. I mean, over I'm over killing the Aldor? Yeah. But I would try as like okay. st stall like as much as you can until you get like your cycle card. Uh, either go face or uh, or pass. Uh, He's saving the, the shade for the oil play I, I mentioned mm -hmm. earlier, right? It's like sap, oil, pretty good combo yeah. with the shade on the board. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see, like, take a look at the Paladin's hand here. It's not great. Like, even though he's double true silver, double auto, he can't play both in the same turn here. He can't play, he can't clear the teacher. The teacher is a problematic card. And play something yeah. else. Yeah, he, this like, is the five valve, man. This is annoying. You yeah. need, like, a consecrate top deck to. Yeah. And that's the point where you fall behind as the Paladin, you lose the tempo. Like if, if Rogue draws a boom or a sprint here, uh, if Paladin that's draws really a boom huge. Here. This shade is getting... okay, wow. A double oil, well. so he's gonna trade it in. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fan oh. is not great. I don't know if he... I, uh, I would fan here. That is not easy. Screw man, I think you almost have to oil here. <laughs> oh man, now the, the master comes up. Oh, there's oh, the bad, sprint bad, right on yeah. time. Yeah. So, you dagger up here, man. You no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Simply like, no. This is your most valuable card. If you like, if you burst now and don't get the full oil, oil value, oh, let's heal up. Yeah. Let's play Tyrion. Let's heal up again. I mean, he has Sab oh. and he has the Black Knight sitting somewhere. So, <laughs> just 
Attack. The sprint. The sprint needs to get him some good cards, some good tempo cards, because he's going to lose a lot of tempo next time. get a flurry. Time. This is enough of a tempo card. Yeah, but... I mean, this doesn't look too bad now turn for the seven, yeah. Turn 7, yeah. uh, turn 8 Tyrion is not going to be that strong. Uh, 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 like, the thing is, what what do you play around, right? You play, you play around mm. AoE with a Tyrion, or do you play, play around Sab with the Master Quartermaster on turn 8, right? It's it's a, it's a struggle you have against the Rogue <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, it's, it's really true. This Knife Juggler is an excellent draw, it just keeps what up the pressure a bit. Like, just Knife Juggler, you just used to fan. I, I would just love if he had an equality in hand and he could just juggle a knife into this poor 6-6. Very six. funny. Uh, guy, that, that is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> That's a hardcore paladin diehard player, man. I just... <laughs> I love moves like that. Yeah, and then, then all the He's been working on this shade the for face. days, man. Like, imagine this. You have to just fly back to America with no prize money because a <laughs> knife hits your shade. That's a 6-6. Six, six, like, two turns before you're going to win. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's working on it. Oh, that is oh my god. It's it's actually, those those things are actually really good for right now because it's not face damage and the yeah. shade is not going to trade. So, so <coughs> he needs a flurry here pretty much. Yeah. Like the sprint is, might, might just be too slow because Paladin has 12 damage next turn if he doesn't kill the board. Ay, 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 ay. Oh god. Ay, ay, ay. He needs like prep fan here or he's screwed. Yep. Where is the fan of or, like gone. poison, prep, flurry? Oh yeah. Give, give no. me the slow cards. All of them. Oh my All god. This, this is why I run the Black that, Knight. That, <laughs> might, just, that <laughs> might just be Reynard going out of the tournament here. How much damage it do they have? It could be, here? actually. We got three, four, five. I mean, that's. It's. But six, Shade might nine, have to trade ten. here. Quartermaster is nine, 12. 11, 12. He can do up to 12 right now. Oh, yeah. Reynard's going with a 13 with a. Uh, that's one out. One man off lethal here. Oh, man. He <laughs> might still do it. Like. This way he needs a. Oh wait, no, no, never mind. He no, can't, he can't, he can't do it. Yeah. Two arms, man. Oh god. Spam that, <laughs> spam that cap, I yeah. Um, oh, actually, with if, with both pings hitting phase, he would have had lethal. Oh maybe. With both hit the shade, so still not flurry. He needs to draw it now, and even like it doesn't matter. Even though he it, lost. it's he too health, the, he has to gain life. There's as flurry, well. but it doesn't matter. Game is over. Reynard's out. Ouch. Rip. And I think he's asking himself, what is the Black Knight doing there, man? The tech card's not a not whole lot. Tech card not working out. Yeah, actually, that did not kill one taunt for him, unfortunately. The thing is with the druid, a lot of the druids, the, the only taunts they're playing are belchers or druid of the claws. Surely, you can, if you get like the coin black knight on it, uh, yeah. it's really really good with rogue. But you have other ways to deal with them as well uh, that might be more efficient than just the black knight. I see one rogue heart breaking here, like losing against the paladin. Yeah, he's gonna. Do what he can here, but he knows he's dead to consecrate. He's dead. Oh, man, actually, only consecrate is dead too. Because well, he's uh, dead to like another knife juggler, probably. <laughs> no, he, didn't you play already play too? No, already second one. And now it's like, of course, he has this consecrate, mm. double trucive, oh, double, double, double consecrate. consecrate. Use the top deck one. It's, Come on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just to make very not salty. Where's oh, his face? Man. There, there we go. <laughs> Zero three out with Ooh. the rogue. Uh, yeah. No misplay. Use the top deck, man. Ouch. This is how you roll. That's like Ouch. cruel. That's oh. cruel. Though. See, oh. there you go. Oh, no, Rain is there. Nice go. All right. That was kind of a delayed hand. Uh, he did see it. He wasn't time. looking. He wasn't looking. Uh, we can give him that one. Okay. That's, uh, that's no problem. Well. All right. So Vortex actually uh, is going to be playing against Powder. Powder, for yeah. That second spot. So that was, a, that was a. Before he gets over here, what do you guys think? Who wins that? I already know what Faramir thinks. What do you think, JJ? Um, <laughs> I have to say, I don't know a okay. Powder's matchup. Too good. Okay. okay. Um, Wasn't a three all last time? I, I really like like <laughs> I like Vortex matchup. It's really solid. You have like these two really consistent decks with Druid Paladin, mm -hmm. and yeah. then you just sneak in the, uh, the mage and you get the last win. This yeah. is this is how I like to play Conquest. This is the way you win. Okay. Yeah. But what Powder is playing is Freeze Mage Warrior. So. Oh man, that is also. Um, yeah. that's really anti aggro. Vortex. So welcome Vortex. Yeah. Congratulations there. Thank you. Yeah. It's a nice um, deal right there. Oh yeah, I like. Um, Force of Nature and Constraint Top Deck, but I had both copies in my hand yeah, already. That was, that was yeah. really fun. <laughs> that that was really nice. You used Top Deck Consecrate. Yeah, of Definitely course. Definitely no misplay. Like. Yeah. No, like, the <laughs> people <laughs> tilt if you use the top <laughs> card. Uh, That's so. cool, though. Renan is out of the tournament. Why would you make him tilt even more? Like, he's out now. Well, Why yeah. would you make him tilt when he's... It wasn't... Just cool. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, winning against uh, Rogue with a Paladin, you think, like, well, yeah, like you the, mastered the, the deck? Like Rogue, mo most of the times wins against Spada, then That's for sure. Like when I summoned like the uh, missile battle and Helper, I was like, 
sprint with eight mana. Yeah. What's happening here? Where yeah. is his blade flurry? He had like double oil sap, so it wasn't that great of a hand. Okay, so yeah, I, I was already wondering what must this ha hand have been like. I have to I, I have to give one thing to Reynard. Like he brought the rogue and stuff, but he always had double oil, and the sprints always came in pairs, like yeah. three games in a row. But yeah. well, he. Like was, it, it was it one misplay in the first game where he didn't like prep sprint? Yeah, on the first this turn? could be the turning point. Yeah, like, it could be like if he wins that game, he might just like he gets the rook through. Then he plays the other matchup against through it might be better. But, but so. that, that this double oil um, rim hand, it's just this is what slows you down. Like he got yeah. it three times, and this is really really unfortunate. Like you see the double oil, and you know, man, I'm losing so much tempo. And yeah. he, he even had to oil and not a flurry, man. This is so fucking cruel. But well, mm. what is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're you playing rogue like role play here. Oh, cool! Yeah. I got two oils three times. Let's let's talk about <laughs> no flurry a little bit because he won. <laughs> well, yeah, like it was also nice that like the last matchup was his rogue actually against my paladin. Like yeah. He, I wasn't afraid of, like, uh, that was the matchup I was afraid of, Paladin against Rogue. Yeah. But, like, I already took two games, so... I only yeah, he was, like, uh, targeting your Druid really hard with his lineup, so... Mm. Yeah. Like, he, yeah, when the Druid like sneaked in the win want, there, yeah. that was, that was uh, good for you, definitely. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel about uh, going back against Powder, who kind of killed you um, before? Well, it was actually pretty close. Like, I think I could have won the Paladin matchup, so I was like, let's go Hunter first. If I win that matchup, I have a good chance against his Druid. You have to play the matchup anyway, so why not start with Hunter? Mm -hmm. mm. So that was my thought process, but nice. the lower tab screwed me really hard over. So, I love but that. I'm lo I'm looking forward for the next match. That's okay. really cool. Yeah. Uh, I like your lineup. You're having this is solid. This is um, yeah. how you win conquest. You have like one sneaky class and the two solid ones. Indeed. All right. Cool. Well, congratulations, Vortex. We'll let you go get ready for your next match. Thank you. Best of luck in it. There we go, man. Uh, guys, we're going to go ahead and jump to a quick little commercial break. Thank you for coming to the couch, you two. Hey, man. It was very, very fun. Hope to have you Maybe. back throughout the weekend. So. Maybe. Sure. Uh, guys, don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back.